hi guys welcome you all to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make your ankara t-shirts if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so the first thing i'm going to do is i have my african print you can make use of any print of your choice i've gone ahead to fold it into two and this is because when you fold your designs into two it makes it very bold and cute so the measurements i'll be working with is 11 inches by 11 inches but i'm going to add my two inches allowance so we are going to have 13 inches for the length and also 13 inches for the wideness don't forget that we are going to fold it and that includes our sewing allowance so i've gone ahead now to cut it and after cutting it this is what we are going to have and also remember that the fabric was folded into two so that we can have a very cute design so this is basically what it looks like i'm just trying to identify like the front and also like the back and i'm checking like the um size of it note that the size of your design can be smaller and the size of your design can be bigger it totally depends on what you want and also how you want it to be let me know what kind of video you want me to make in the comment section and if you have any question in the course of this video please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section so the next thing now is i've gone ahead to pick out the t-shirt and this is what the t-shirt looks like note that trainings are available so what i'm going to do now is to smoothen the t-shirt to make sure that there is no rumple and also to make sure that the t-shirt is straight so i'm going to go ahead with this rolling pin basically just like smoothing up the t-shirt make sure that there's no wrinkles and also ensure that the t-shirt is actually very smooth right so that is basically what i'm doing if you have any question in the course of this video please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section and t-shirts are available customized t-shirts with patterns customized t-shirts with african prints are available you can check out the description box for more details to place your order so the next thing i'm going to do now is to fold my fabric into two and place it on my t-shirt now you will notice that you can place this in two ways you can either place it horizontally or you can place it vertically it all depends on the design and also what you want so this is me just trying to like lay it on the fabric and this is the picture of what we are going to have so what we are going to do now is we are also going to ensure that we fold the edges right don't forget that in the measurements we have 11 inches by 11 inches but we went ahead to add two inches for the sewing allowance so because neatness is very important and one way to ensure that your work is actually very neat is to ensure that you iron as much as possible that is let me just tell you guys that is one free secret to ensure that your job is neat iron as much as possible so this is me basically just ironing the fabric making sure that it's smooth and also the easiest way to aim the edges of your fabric is also to iron them down before pressing it you don't know how easy it's going to be for you when you iron the edges that you want to fold before you eventually fold it it just makes your job so easy not just easy alone it makes your job to be very neat and you guys are going to agree with me that one thing about designing is not just to design but also to ensure that your job is neat and fantastic trust me pay attention to little details like neatness finishing it is very very important so as you guys can see look closely at what i'm doing i'm basically just folding the edges and pressing it down with my iron just because when i'm done with that it makes it to be very easy for me to stop stitch and i also folded it twice right so the first fold is going to have like a rough edge and then i folded it again twice because ah it has to be neat 
so i'm basically just folding it that is what it looks like we have different designs of ankara t-shirts different designs different fabrics different t-shirts they're actually very cute and you can rock this to any event of your choice you can rock it to any event of your choice you can use it for photo shoots you can rock it as a couple you can rock it as a family you can rock it to any event not just an ordinary t-shirt but also you'll be very unique in any occasion you go to do you know why you'll be unique because there's every tendency that you will not find someone putting on the same clothes as you even though they are putting on the same t-shirt you won't find someone putting on the same design of t-shirts with you and that is a very beautiful thing and a very beautiful experience to step into an event and in as much as it's a t-shirt it is not regular and also you won't find anyone putting on such t-shirts t-shirt customized t-shirts printer t-shirts are available and don't forget to check the link in the description box to place your order so when you are folding this fabric you are also going to pay attention to the edges because that is where two folded parts are going to meet and that is basically what i'm doing ensure that the edges are properly folded and ironed because two folded parts are definitely meeting at that point it may take a while but just relax and get it done once and for all so once i'm done the next thing now is i'm pinning it to the t-shirt you have to pin it because it makes your work to be very firm and you can see already what it's definitely going to look like so i'm just pinning it down to see the effects of what i have and of course you guys when i'm sewing i don't know if i'm the only one but i'm always playing music and i'm always vibing so i'll just give you guys like a free vibe or dance day <laughs> the next thing now is i'm taking it to the same machine and i'm basically just stitching it to the machine and one thing about this is the fact that you need to pin it trust me you need to pin it you know first on the fabric before sewing it so while you are sewing it, ensure that the measurements on both sides are equal. Ensure that oh, you have the equal measurements from the neckline to where the fabric is starting. And ensure that the fabric is also placed at the right point, right? It just makes your work to be very perfect at the end of the day. Another thing I'm also going to say is that when you are sewing it, don't forget that t-shirts are stretchy and African prints are not stretchy. So when you are sewing it, ensure as much as possible not to pull the t-shirt because once you pull the t-shirt, you are going to have a rumple effect. Like it's going to be squeezed because the t-shirt is stretchy, but the African print is not stretchy, right? So that is why it's good for you to pin it. And while you are sewing, please make sure you don't pull the fabric or pull the african prints just leave it and let it sew on its own right let me know what diy topic or any style or topic you want me to make in the comment section and if you watched my video to this point thank you so much and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so i was just dressing with my friend at this point as you guys can see because sewing is fun when you just or when you listen to music so let me know what how do you really love sewing do you sew alone do you love to play music do you love to just when you are sewing for me it just makes the sewing very easy and fun and keep going right so that's basically the activity i love to do while i'm definitely sewing so once i'm done this is what it looks like this is me just dancing to the music in the background <laughs> so i'm definitely um styling it this is how to style it different ways in which you can style it and i hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys in my next one bye